In this screencast, we're going to look at what you do when you have noisy sensor measurements. If your sensor measurements look like this, where there's a lot of noise in them, what's going to happen in your closed loop process is that your manipulated variable is also going to jiggle up and down unnecessarily, which will then cause your actual um, temperature to also jiggle down up and down unnecessarily as well. And so what you want to do is you, if you have noisy sensor data, then you want to filter that sensor data by taking a time average or a sliding window average. With a proper filter in place, then what can happen is that your manipulated variable will no longer be sent um, jiggling up and down so much, and then your overall uh, actual temperature is going to settle down to a steady state as well fairly quickly, and it also will not jiggle around as much. Now, in order to put a sensor in your system, sorry, a filter for your sensor in your system, that filter is put right here. So the filter is put here. Now if you consider a typical feedback loop with high amounts of sensor noise, we're going to explain how this sensor noise can affect this system and contrast this with the effect of the sensor noise in an open loop system. So here's the thing, here's the problem with a sensor noise in a closed loop system. It's that high sensor noise can confuse the controller. Because high sensor noise will, will cause your error to jump up and down all the time because your error is your set point minus your sensor value. Well, if the sensor value is jumping up and down all the time, then your error is also jumping up and down all the time, and it will cause the controller to make a decision, confusing it into manipulating the actuator all the time, unnecessarily, unnecessarily. Now in an, in an open loop, in an open loop, this is not a big deal. This being sensor noise. Because it does not affect the manipulated variable. It's only when you have a closed loop system where you have a controller that makes a decision because of the error that's jumping around all the time um, in order to manipulate the manipulated variable. And so the controller being confused is going to cause the, the actuator to open and close, open and close, and open, you know, shifting around all the time, which is constantly going to be causing perturbations to your process. So if you have noisy sensor data, and it's causing this error to jump up and down, which causes the controller to have the controller signal jump up and down, which causes the input to your system to jump up and down, then because you had a noisy sensor and not because you had any sort of disturbance or any sort of set point change, your process is going to change a lot. Now this is especially problematic in a one particular circumstance and that would be derivative control. If your controller is a derivative controller, then what could happen is that your sensor data being noisy will cause your, your controller to take an estimate of the derivative which will be swinging wildly from extremely large and positive to extremely uh, large and negative all the time. So for example, if this were your sensor data, if this were your uh, some average value and your sensor data were doing this, all the time, what the controller does is it takes an estimate of the derivative by taking the difference between two points. And so your derivative is going to be jumping up and down like crazy all the time. Maybe sometimes it won't be a big deal, but that's due to random noise. Most of the time it's going to be fluctuating wildly from incredibly large and positive to incredibly large and negative. Now note this doesn't hurt proportional control nearly as much. So there's some error a little bit above set point and a little bit below. <laughs> but it's not extremely large and positive 
to, to extremely large and negative, it's a little bit above and below. But with the derivative control, it's huge. Now the integral control is affected even less than this because it's a time history and it in effect is a time average. And so in a sense, integral control is also uh, a filter on your error. But if you want proportional control to increase the speed of your system and derivative control to dampen the oscillations, then you better have um, very good sensor or a uh, filter in place.